Hey guys and welcome. In this video, we are going to write a VU math subroutine for the generalized IA model. Before seeing the rest of this video, take a look at my videos about the hyperelastic materials and how we can model them using the Ghent model and the Mooney Rivlin hyperelastic model. These videos can help you with the uh, rudimentary stuff and also uh, can help you with uh, some coding and the VUMAT style for writing these kind of codes. The generalized IA strain energy density function is like this, in which I bar 1 is the first invariant or I should better say the isocaric first invariant and J is the determinant of the deformation gradient matrix K1, K2, K3, M, P, Q are the material um, parameters that can be derived from the data fitting D1 is related to the bulk modulus and is used for uh, compressible materials. Since we are using VUMAT, we have to define the co-rotational Cauchy stress. Therefore, we can take the advantage of the co-rotational system and use U bar instead of F bar. Also, the first derivative of the strain energy function with respect to the uh, first invariant is like this and the first derivative of the function with respect to j is like this in the rest of the video i'm going to implement these codings for the generalized ia model in the vumat style continuing with the subroutine here we have the header of the subroutine, which is typical, and also some dimensions and some parameters which are real and some extra parameters which we are going to use in the following A1, A2, A3, E, EP, QU, and D1 are the material parameters. Also, we are going to calculate the G modulus and bulk modulus and since we are using the uh, epsilon or I should better say the Lagrangian strain we have to uh, define the 2G next we are going to define the lambda for the uh, elastic uh, part of the solution and uh, I have a if a step here and which is going to say if total time equal to zero then we have to define the elastic part of the material or I should better say the initial part and next for the rest of the uh, calculations we are going to use a do loop to loop over the integration points and since we are going to use the U bar first we have to define the B matrix which is the left Cauchy green strain tensor uh, which is defined by these lines next we are going to calculate the determinant of the uh, deformation gradient matrix which is equal to the determinant of U in co-rotational framework which is defined using these lines. Next, we are going to calculate the uh, modifying strain tensor B bar using the scale factor and these lines. Next, the first invariant of B bar or the isocaric first invariant, which is the trace of the B bar that can be easily calculated. Next, we are going to 
uh, define the deviatory part of B bar, uh, we should uh, here use uh, P0 and we are going to calculate the deviatory part of B bar similar to uh, that of um, deviatoric stresses. Next, we are going to uh, use the relations I presented uh, earlier to uh, calculate the first derivative of the strain energy function with respect to I bar 1. Uh, here we have to uh, use an if condition. So if I bar 1 minus 3 is lower than a tolerance, which is a really small number, then we are going to um, make the first derivative of the function with respect to I bar 1 equal to 0. This is because uh, we want to avoid uh, numerical uh, problems and we want to avoid the division, the division by 0. Else, we are going to calculate uh, the first derivative of the function with these lines which are equal to the relation I presented before. And the first derivative of the function with respect to j is equal to this. Next, I'm going to use uh, these lines to calculate the corrotational Cauchy stresses, which are pretty straightforward. And uh, I'm going to only explain the um, highlighted line. Uh, first, I'm going to uh, calculate a constant g1, which is 2 divided by j, and multiplied by the first derivative of w with respect to i bar 1. And if you guys remember, we have to multiply this constant by the uh, d bar in the direction of the stress, since we are going to define the stress new in direction 1, or I should better say in direction x, we are going to use the d b bar xx, and we are going to uh, make it uh, bigger using dw dj, which is only used for the uh, direct uh, stresses. And the rest is pretty similar. I've tested this uh, VU mat using Abacus version 2020 and you guys can enjoy uh, having it. This concludes our video. Please support me by liking and subscribing to my channel. Take care.